everybody, Bob Iaccino, co-portfolio manager of the Stock Think Tank, of course, along with Mike Arnold. And I bought myself a little present um, because of our March performance and our quarterly performance. And it's a very little present. Actually, you can see it right here. See this little green bush right here? That's a lemon tree. I bought myself a lemon tree. I've always wanted a lemon tree. Can't have them in, in Chicago. Can have them down here in Florida. And I probably could have bought myself a lot more. And if you're not following the alerts, the core portfolio alerts as we send them and using the position size calculator, well, you clearly don't wanna buy yourself a little present. And you clearly don't like your retirement portfolio that much. End of the quarter, as of the end of March, that's the first quarter end, we're up over 29% versus an S&P up about 6%. March, we're up 12.75% versus the S&P up about 4.2%. Now we're looking at the end of a very strong week. It's the second week of April right now. And the Russell was down about 70 basis points. Again, if you don't know what basis points are, 75 basis points would be three quarters of 1%. So the Russell was down just short of three quarters of 1% and it's now down three of the last four weeks. The other three indices are doing quite a bit better. The NASDAQ was up 3.02% this week, and it's up four of the last five weeks and up three consecutive weeks. The Dow up 1.81% this week and up five of the last six, and the S&P 2.57 this week and up five of six. But we're also up again. The narrative that's going through the markets right now is really good for us. So if you're not telling all your friends and relatives about the stock think tank, well, you must not like them either any more than you like your own portfolio. So let me go over a little bit of the portfolio as it sits at the end of the second week. Well, it's really the first full week of April, but it's the second week of April. Right now we own Henry Sheen, which is HSIC, Accenture, which is ACN, Aflac, which is AFL, Walmart, WMT, Booz Allen Hamilton, BAH, Clorox, CLX, and Robert Half International, RHI. Of those one, two, three, four, five, six, seven key holdings, only one is down. Um, Accenture, I believe, is the one very close, within a couple of bucks of full profit. Walmart, also, a couple of bucks from full profit. Then you go to the special plays, we still have that PSLV, which we've said before is a longer term play. That's down right now. But CBOE is up, admittedly only a few cents. But the two recent ones, Under Armour, UA, and the Sprott Physical Gold Trust, PHYS, both up, both very new positions and up right away. So up six of seven stocks in our core portfolio, and in the special plays, up three of four. So despite the S&P, the NASDAQ, and the, the uh, Dow doing very well, we're still doing very well. And the head start we have this year on these stocks is ridiculous. And because we take profits, again, learning moment, preaching moment, teaching moment, whatever you wanna call it, for our process, because we take the profits out of the market, we become less exposed to a sell-off. Buy and hold people, yeah, they're up. Record highs for the S&P this week record highs for the Dow this week. But if there's a sell-off, they're down a lot. We are not down a lot because we take profits. Whole point of this is playing out right before your eyes. Here's something else I'm gonna tell you that other people won't. This particular business model that we use, where you pay us a fee for these alerts, as opposed to us managing our, your money and taking a percentage of profits or taking a management fee and a percentage of profits, you pay us our annual fee and then that's it. And then if you wanna follow and be up over 29% in a quarter without Tesla, without Beyond Meat, without Nikola, without GameStop, without AMC, I just read you our list of stocks. They couldn't be more valued. They couldn't be more solid companies if we only did those. But we also did the high betas and the high beta, it's gold, the Chicago Board Options Exchange and Under Armour. Okay, it's nothing crazy yet we're able to produce those returns. If you're not following this all the way through, then you're missing the point 
of what it is that we do. And I want you to go back and sort of understand what we do before you continue on with this program. So what I'm gonna tell you is because of the business model we use, I want you to actually take some money out. If you've been with us from the beginning and you doubled your money, like our alerts have, like our core portfolio has, the model portfolio has more than doubled in a little over a year, take money out, don't pile money in. And then when we have a drawdown, when we have a losing month or two, that's when you apply more money to the program. If we were managing money based on a percentage of profit and a cut, uh, I'm sorry, a, a management fee, it would be hard to say that, just human nature. But that's what's good about this business model is we get to tell you now you've made a lot of money off of our alerts, take a little bit of it, of it out, put it aside, put it in something that's less active, and then come right back at it and compound the new amount. Anyway, that's the update for this week. I think the rally's gonna continue, and I think we're gonna continue along with it. I will talk to you guys next week.